Well, since the president has started his second term, the left-wing base has made ending income inequality a top priority. There are times when our country is confronted with a crisis that poses an existential threat to our nation and our way of life. Uh, and Congress and needs to stand up and act. The test of our time is inequality. It's not, it is not too much to say that inequality threatens the continued existence of the middle class in America, and even the American dream itself. Okay, that was Democratic Congresswoman Rosa DeLario uh, De on the House floor. Of course, what she doesn't mention is the fact that while she's talking about income inequality, she's worth up to $20 million. That's not fair. Uh, here to comment on this and more is uh, Stuart Varney celebrating his fourth year on uh, host of Varney and Company. Yes, we are indeed. Right, Big anniversary. The, and this is essentially, this is after the fourth year, so we should move on. Yes. Right. Okay, get to it. Yeah, let's talk about the staff inequality, how much each of your staff members are getting paid. But until then, let's focus on what is going on with inequality when it comes to the threat on our economy. Does she have a point? No, she does not have a point. Uh, income inequality, the income gap, put it like that, has been rising for about four decades. The gap has been widening. And there are all kinds of factors that contribute to this widening of the income gap. Ms. DeLauro there, she's staking out the Democrats' turf for this election year. She's saying income inequality is going to be the issue which we run on in 2014. There's a problem with that. Not only is Ms. DeLauro a multi-millionaireess herself, but the Obama administration has presided over the most, the most uh, vigorous widening of the income gap of any recent presidency. Between 2009 and 2012, the top 1% of income earners in the Obama years took 95% of all sure. the extra income earned in America. 95% went to the top 1%. Right. How does that compare to past now presidents? says inequality, that's the big problem. It is that's threatening America. Sure, it's really so taken. So are Obama's policies a threat to America, according to Ms. DeLauro? I mean, look at that, 95%. The top 1% in the year 2009 to 2012, their income went up 31%. Sure. The other 99%, their income went up 0.4%. So right. how is their narrative, how can they run with this narrative when the facts simply don't back it up? Pure politics. It's pure politics. Beat up on the rich. It's all their fault. We will set things straight. Right. Even though the gap has widened during the Obama years. Right. And the, and the part that makes it all politics, and that's why we're hearing a number of Democrats talk about income inequality and the rich are getting richer. Although the poor don't, go, the poor don't get poorer because the rich are richer. I mean, that's been proven. Right. But what it comes down to is this is their agenda. Because they want, instead of the number one topic people are talking about, Obamacare. They want to distract sure. people and they want to say, sure. don't look at Obamacare. Let's look at how people are getting screwed and not making a minimum wage. They're stoking division and anger at the rich. Look at those rich people running away with our money, leaving us behind. Let's do something about it. She seems like an unlikely spokesperson for that, though. Uh, yes, but the right. Democrats in general right. are saying that, and the president in particular. And here's the path. Income inequality is just a fact of capitalism. It's always going to happen. The question is, do you have a path to prosperity available for people to pursue? Is that path there? That's all you can ask for. An opportunity to be successful, not a guarantee. That is provided by growth, economic growth. You give me four, five, six percent, that lifts all boats. The president has done the opposite. He's given, he has not given us growth. He's given us tax the rich and trap the poor in welfare. That has contributed to the widening of the income gap. It is an outrage. We're going to hear more on this on Marnie and Company in 920? Yeah, you are. All right. <laughs> and, appara in. and apparently Stewart doesn't like being lectured by a millionaire Democrat congresswoman. I, no, I don't care for that. I can the tell. Real I really don't. Of right. opportunity. Thanks, Stewart. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Up next on the rundown, thousands of U.S. soldiers gave their lives to liberate Iraq, but now Al-Qaeda has the weapons to take it down. Our next guest, a former Navy SEAL who fought for that freedom, joins us live. And take a look at this video. This probably wasn't the kind of competition these surfers wanted. Yikes. It's Shark Week. No. We need a Navy 